Hey guys, Ed Huff from Full Blown Customs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use some chrome emblems. I'm doing actually some uh, Chevelle emblems and some SS emblems. Now, the procedure I'm using to do these emblems on this particular car is completely different than I'll do, um, do it on a different colored car. Because this is a silver base, this is the way I'm doing it on this. I am actually going to be doing another video that will be um, for sale on my website by the end of the year that will be on a Pro Mod 69 Camaro, it's all carbon fiber body and I'm airbrushing all the chrome, the grills, the headlights, everything on it. That will be a full length video. And the way that I do that is completely different than I'm going to do this because this is a silver base. If this was a red base, I'd be doing it completely different. So this is not the same procedure on a different color. So remember that when you're airbrushing these emblems if you're trying to duplicate this. But sit back and enjoy. Well, what I'm getting ready to do, guys, is I've got a Chevelle emblem all taped out here. This is done in paint mask. I took this emblem and I photographed it. This is actually the one that goes on the back, but we're not doing the Chevrolet part. But I photographed this, and then I sent this picture in to my friend Dave at Warp Graphics, and I'll give you his, um, his uh, information. But uh, I sent it in, and I'm gonna, I had it cut at this level. Because when you're looking, when you're standing up and you're looking down at this Chevelle emblem, you want to see it to look like this. You don't want it to be level like that because it won't look right. So we're going to try to make it look three-dimensional. But I'll pull each piece out and I'll tell you the color combination I'm doing and everything as we go. First step I'm going to do is take out the outside piece, which borders it all the way around. We're going to take our gray mixture and using about, well, about 35 PSI right now. And I'm going to go around the whole entire um, outline. I'm going to turn it up to about 40. When I'm turning it up is I have an air valve right here that you guys can buy at coastairbrush.com. And these are inline valves. They're awesome for your airbrushes. That's the blue I'm going to use right there. I'm just going to lightly spray it across the top. You can see on the white paper where I'm spraying. Now we're going to use our black just a little bit here and there on the bottom. In the bottom of the inside piece here. On the back sides of the letters this direction. Now we switched up to our white. Hitting the top edges right now. Couple spots over in here. I switched up to my Micron and I uh, over reduced this about 200%. You can see right here how thin it is. Being careful not to go over where I already did the black. I'm just creating some reflection right now. So now we're going to take out the centers. Now because this is a silver car, I can do it this way. If this was a different color car, like say red or whatever, I would have had to spray this completely different. And I'll explain that. I 
of this off to the side here. We've got our piece that we originally took everything off. I'm just saving all the lettering in case I need it. Sometimes I piece it back in and, and uh, spray an edge. We'll keep all this off to the side. This step, you've got to be very careful doing it this way. I'm using my Micron and I got my uh, paint reduced about 200% and I'm just going to lightly go over where all the silver is. You can see, I'll spray up here, you can see how thin it is. Time to put my glasses on. <laughs> yeah, I'm blind, guys. And gals. I keep saying guys. I apologize. I have just as many ladies out there that write me all the time asking about airbrushing. I think it's very cool that there's getting to be a lot of women in the airbrushing. God, I love this micron. Another little outer line there. Around all the lettering. Be very careful not to scratch. I'm trying to just hook that edge and pick it. Now I've got um, black reduced about 200% and I'm just going to lightly fog over these edges here. Stand right in the center there. Final step is airbrushing a little bit of a shadow under it. Laid out the SS on the back and I pulled the centers out, which will go white. Now 
Now I've placed those back in and now we'll peel out the next layer. We're real careful here so you don't pick anything and scratch it. Save that off to the side just in case we need it. Now we'll go over the edges with black, staying out on the edges of the paint mask. I'm trying to leave this piece that we just painted in there without crossing over it. Now we'll take our white again and we'll create some more reflections going across both the, the first one I painted and the second one. We're doing the front emblems now, it's SS396, but we're going to basically do the same thing. We're going to pull the center out, spray it white. And I'm going to grab my black now, something I didn't show that I didn't do on the, um, the back one. I did it on the other side there a minute ago. I'm going to shadow just the top edges here a little bit black. Spraying mainly on the paint mask itself and letting the overspray go down onto the, the white. Okay, we're going to spray a little bit of a gray mixture around that. Now I'll start doing some more highlights up here. 